So we moved place today. Um, we've moved from Forest Grove to Forest Park. Uh, it's this beautiful sort of woodsy apartment um, with a big balcony overlooking the forest and this big park area. Um, a fire, a spa pool on the deck and a big kitchen with hanging pots and I don't know if you can see back here past the stroller. It's got a big um, gas fire stove, um, wood fire. It's night time now, it's raining so you can't really see out onto the balcony. So this is the view from our balcony in the morning. Pretty amazing. Yes, that's right, Ava. It's beautiful, isn't it? Lots of trees. It's lovely. It's even got a little hummingbird feeder there, so we've been seeing lots of hummingbirds. Hi, <laughs> Baba. Say hello. Hi. <laughs> no, not too keen on that. So pretty and peaceful. Hmm. But yeah, it's really nice. So um, Ada's down. We put her down, and she went down pretty well. Hopefully, she sleeps through. Um, she finally slept through the night on night five so that was last night and then we moved today into a new place with a new bed so i'm hoping that she has a good night's sleep tonight um she was pretty good i think the last time i recorded this was she slept one night the second night though she had a breakdown um it was crazy it was about started about 10 p.m and we just settled in for a couple of glasses of wine because i was thinking she'll be fine she didn't she woke up a little bit the first night you know so she's just one of those babies which has just you know immune to jet lag you just you kid yourself so at 10 p.m she woke up and she just lost it um i was like we're checking her for a rash for any signs of her being sick um we tried everything for two hours she had a massive meltdown uh, we gave her a bottle um that made it worse she just wanted more i don't know what she wanted she was just in all sorts but then she went down and she woke up the next morning. We let her sleep an extra hour, so until 8, 8 a.m. And yeah, she seemed to to be fine after that. Um, she woke up a, a few times the last few nights, apart from last night where she slept through, so that was amazing. So fingers crossed tonight will be great too. Um, so I'm just trying to think what's happened over the last couple of days. Oh, we did find this amazing contraption. And I spoke to you about um, how we were going to bath her when we were away. Um, we were thinking about doing it in the kitchen sinks uh, or in a bucket, but we found this blow up bath. Just got it from Walmart. See, it's got, it's got a face cloth on it. It's just got like a little padded hood, like a pillow, sorry. And little temperature gauges in here to tell you whether it's hot or cold or warm. She loves it, it's so soft. It's actually much better than her bath at home because she can sit up against this pillow and put her arms out on here and slash around. Um, really cool, yeah. So um, the plan was to go hiking through the park and the forest the next couple of days, but it's gonna be raining, so we'll just have to play it by ear. So um, Ada met her great grandma today. Jean, who she gets her middle name from, Ada Jean Nelson. Um, that was really special. And um, Ada's had lots of special time with her Bima, which is Jeff's mum, Bonnie. Um, going shopping and buying a cute little bear outfit. Those ones with the hoods and the little ears. Yeah, super cute. And over in the States, we were, well, in Wyoming anyway, it's going to be cold enough that she's able to wear it. What do you think, Bubba? Do you like this little bear outfit? Do you? Do you like this little bear outfit? <laughs>
Oh, not for eating. Not for eating. Oh, do you like it? <laughs> yes. Oh, a little bear. Oh, you like it? It's a little bear. It's one of those cute little bear outfits. Oh, might be handy for going shopping early. Yeah, smile if you want it. Smile if you want it. Yeah, you smile if you want it. The shopping would be ma. I know. <laughs> I think she wants it. So, yeah, on to the next part of the trip, and I'm hoping by the end of it she'll just be, Ada will be amazing and just be able to drop her in any bed and she'll sleep and just completely acclimatised to change and movement. So we'll see how we go. All right, I'll speak to you soon. Bye.